Hello everybody, in this episode of Flip Teacher Professional Learning I'm going to show you how to use QR codes in the classroom. Now QR codes work in a similar kind of way to URL shorteners which I've spoken about in a previous video but instead of giving you a shorter URL link it generates an image, a 2D black and white image that operates in a similar function to a barcode that you might find on the back of your, of, of your groceries. Uh, the information about the link uh, the website is stored in that link and when you hold a QR code scanner over the top of it on a device it will take you to that particular web page. Now the QR code generator that I tend to use most often is goqr.me which is this one here on the screen. Now the reason that I use this particular one is that they have a range of options. Generally speaking, what you want to put into a QR code is a URL, but you can also, with this particular one, put in text, um, uh, contact cards, SMSs, a whole range of different options. They also have the ability to put QR codes on um, products, if that's, a, if that's a road that you want to go down with your students, and there's a whole range of information there about some other tools they have. So let's have a look at what a QR code can actually do. There's a particular website that I've been using with my students as part of our science unit uh, looking at Earth in space uh, that is called If the Moon Were Only One Pixel. Absolutely fantastic resource and I strongly recommend that you check it out when you are looking at that particular unit in science. But the URL which you can see here on the screen is too long to really to work with. It's not particularly functional. So instead of using a URL shortener, this time I'm going to use a QR code because that's something that I can print out as part of the unit booklet that my students are working through uh, and I can simply just put the QR code there and they can scan. So what I've done is I've printed out the QR code, you can see that here and what I'm going to do is hold my, uh, where is the iPad, hold my iPad over the top, here's my QR code reader, it will pick up the code you might have heard that ding that tells you that it's picked it up and it's taken my iPad to that particular website. Now, the beauty of that is once it's open in that website, I don't know if you can see it with the resolution, with the contrast, up here in the top right hand corner there is an up arrow. I can either now open that website in Safari or Chrome or I can share it uh, via email or you know, a lot of other options. This means that your students can then open up the QR code with the QR code reader and then send it to their browser on their device because if I simply close the app, close the, uh, the website through the app, I've then got to rescan the QR code to bring it back up. This way they can then open the website up in their browser and then they can bookmark it for future reference. Really fantastic, really easy to use. So let's go back and have a look at how we actually use it. Very, very simple. All we need to do is is type the URL into the page here. This particular website then generates a live preview on the fly over here. Uh, you can then download that or you can use a snip tool or screen capture tool to take a photo and save it as an image and do what you will. Very, very, very simple. Really easy to use. If you're not sharing digitally, absolutely fantastic. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.